But Tony was particularly famous for his portraits and had many elite clients, such as Cardinal Prospero Colonna di Shara, 1708-65, who was a member of a great Roman noble family. The cardinal can be identified by the letter he holds, which is addressed to him. The red color of the clothing of his ecclesiastic office produces an imposing effect against the dark background. But Tony's virtuosity in the handling of paint comes through in the meticulous depiction of different textures, such as hair, silk, and lace. There are three orders of cardinals, deacons, priests, and bishops. The only practical difference between them today is seen when protocol calls for a cardinal of a specific order to complete a designated task. In the past, cardinal deacons oversaw social services and charity work in Rome, cardinal priests ran the parishes, and cardinal bishops were in charge of the seven dioceses surrounding Rome. Today, some cardinals are in charge of the Roman Curia's different departments, like the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith or the Congregation for the Causes of Saints. Others are archbishops in charge of major dioceses. Pompeo Girolamo Batoni 1708 to 1787, was an Italian painter who displayed a solid technical knowledge in his portrait work and in his numerous allegorical and mythological pictures. The high number of foreign visitors traveling throughout Italy and reaching Rome during their grand tour led the artist to specialize in portraits. Batoni won international fame largely thanks to his customers, mostly British of noble origin, whom he portrayed, often with famous Italian landscapes in the background.